Hi, my name is Márcia Georgina. I'm the painter here at Loot. In today's video, I will show you the painting process of this character, the bard. The model was designed by Leandro Pavanelli and we printed here using the Sonic Mini 3D printer. So, come along with me as I paint it. Let's get started! First, let's apply a general base coat to the entire model. She is red, so I'm using a darker red to be the base color. I will do a complete coverage in all parts. For the skin, I'm going to mix the same red with a darker brown. A dark flesh tone. I think it could have been lighter, it's almost like the color of the hair, but it's okay. I'm learning this new method. Now the base color for the blues, a bluish gray. A little black to make it darker. Now a very dark grey, almost black. Actually, the paints must be black, so to start, I'm going to apply an almost pure black. And for that, it's just adding some color. I put grey. I mixed brown with red to make a dark reddish brown and apply it to the corset. I chose a light brown to apply on the guitar. I imagine the guitar neck lighter than the rest.
For that, I'm adding ochre. A base color for the necklace. Being dark already makes the shadow. Then just come with the gold. Dark brown for the boots. The hat will be green. I will darken it to apply at the bottom and it will already form the shadow. I'm putting some tones on the wet palette that I'm going to use on skin. After the base coat, the highlights will be applied to facing the lights using lighter tones. Gradually using a lighter tone in each subsequent step. Will be the same in each step, so it will give volume to the piece. I have an orange to apply to the hair. As it's clearer than the red, we already form a little volume. I'm applying a dark color to the cracks and dividing lines. I will use my CD Putsch clay when applying a dark color in the guitar hole. Also using the airbrush with pure black to 
form the darker parts of the paints. and reduce the contrast between the light and dark parts. Now increasing the tails on the guitar, doing some flowers. Starting with a beige, then I will apply a lighter color to illuminate. Applying light tones to the strings. A little bit darker near the hole to create a gradient. I'm creating a pattern on the corset, as if you were embroidery. I apply the red, and then I'm going to put on lighter shades. And a black divider seam. A little bit of white on the toners. I will apply a darker gray to reinforce the shadows on the blues. I will also reinforce shadows on the skin. For the eyes, I needed a magnificent glass. I started with black, then white, not pure, a darker blue, underneath the iris, a lighter blue, and then black pupil. To reinforce the seams in the paints, I used a dark brown underneath. Then I applied a lighter reddish brown to highlight. I'm also reinforce the light in the breasts.
As I said, now is the reddish brown. I used gold metallic paint on the coins, as you can see. Now the lighter shades in the corset. And with a tool with a rounded tip, I'm applying gold to simulate decorative buttons. On top of the black seam. For the bottom of the stone, I use it a dark brown, highlighting the seven lines and adding some random colors. Reinforcing the binding lines Now a brown for the stool wood With the airbrush, I'm applying a very dark brown, making a gradient from bottom to top. Applying some orange and ochres to light the floor. Now I'm doing a technique colored wash with a very diluted plane for the effect on the wood. I apply it in cracks. 15 minutes later, it dries. I whip with a damp cloth to remove the excess. Finishing touch with silver on the dagger. Then that's it. I hope that you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye bye!